Hey everybody, it is time for a next build. Um, this build is being done, um, well, because I absolutely have to. It's been far too long, um, and so it's only been two years of COVID only, but I think COVID years are like dog years, so for the last 14 years, I haven't been able to uh, really do much. So I'm looking forward to going to Atlanta Steampunk Expo. And that is in, uh, well, you guessed it, in Atlanta, Valentine's weekend. And uh, so what I would like to do is take an existing build, uh, and you'll see why, uh, one of the reasons why I'm picking that, but an existing build and kind of redoing it and giving it new life because really don't have anywhere to put anything new. So you can kind of see, just by looking around my workshop, that there is... This one, this one, this one, this one. Parts for more, motorcycle, a Tricerapede. What is that? That is a Chrysler 225 Slant 6 going into yet another project, but not a steampunk vehicle. Um, yeah, it is a true and absolute disaster. Another vehicle over there. And so, yeah, as you can see, I have nowhere, unless I build, to put anything new. So what I want to do is I want to kind of take inspiration from the new Boba Fett series. And uh, um, and Dis Disney has decided to change the name from Slave One to something else. So I thought, you know what? I will take my Steampunk Slave One and make it something else. So the overall concept, you have the main part of the vehicle here. And the door opens up and you can get in and uh, with linear actuators and then it closes the door and you can drive it around. It's built on a very heavy duty um, electric wheelchair frame. And so it has been able to handle this. I've driven this in Wild West Con and up and down hills and dusty streets of uh, the fantastic um, set that that is. Uh, but it's time for something new. And so what I would like to do is I'm going to take this tail section off, which are a series of bolts and then bolts down here and then I would leave this part here open. And so what it, the concept is, is that this goes away. I'm going to make a seat for me to sit back here and attach to this. Support it, obviously, um, you know, uh, no, vertical um, to the seating position. So it's not any extra burden on this. Turning will be interesting. Um, and then it's going to be kind of like a rickshaw where I am sitting back here, the controls will be moved from the front up to here, and then I would drive this with a passenger. And I thought, how cool would that be? Mike Perotti and I thought, how cool would that be that we could take um, vehicles to a convention, and then instead of you watching us, you can watch us drive you and your friends around. How freaking awesome will that be? Because then you get to see some of the fun experience that we always get, which is, you know, you've heard me at um, well over a hundred conventions driving around vehicles, just giggling like some kind of crazy child on the inside. So I want to share that experience with you. Now, how do I <laughs> work on this? My plan was to take a whole bunch of stuff out, rearrange, put the tank over here in this spot, so that I could work in that spot over there. But it is um, 32 degrees and it is like freezing rain and miserable. So I'm gonna have to make do because less than four weeks is Atlanta Steampunk Expo. And ay -ay -ay. I have actually built this in four weeks, but I dedicated a lot of time and which is something that I don't have right now. So I'm gonna maximize that and hopefully get something ready for Captain Bill Bill and all of the amazing crew at uh, Atlanta Steampunk Expo.